Welcome back to the Obra Din. It's Sunday. And I'm ready to continue my journey. Of not knowing what the hell happened on the Obra Din. Four hours and five minutes playtime. Last played 18 hours ago, shit. I have to remind myself where I was and what I was doing. Hmm. Okay. Right. I was trying to decipher this whole escape sequence that was happening. I remember that now. I remember it all started in here. The... Ah, oh, what was his name? Gosen? Boson? The Boson was uh, hurt, sitting there. He sat there with the guy with the cap on, with some other first mates, second mates or whatever, mates. And then people started tr trying to escape upstairs. A rock bro broke out. Uh, people got stabbed. People got shot upstairs. And then down here, a guy was chased who was listening to the conversation of the officers. And an officer stabbed him in the back and he crawled all the way in here. He's right here actually. He's on his way. And then two people from upstairs came down. This guy went to the left to uh, take care of this guy over here. While the other guy went to the right. And he just clopped this guy. This officer. Because he's an officer, right? Oh, it feels good to be back in this game. I feel like I'm making extremely slow progress in this game here. And I don't know if that's because I'm just very bad at deducing what's going on. Or if I'm playing it the wrong way. And when I say that, I mean, should I be filling out the entire journal with a bunch of whodunits first? And then try to solve it later when I have the whole thread? Or should I be doing it what I'm doing now? Which is trying to do as much as I can at the point I'm in. Or at the point I'm at. I'm not sure. Hmm. I think I was exploring the thread here, so... Maybe I also found a corpse in here. So maybe I'll just explore that for now. My, my, my mind is deactivated in the moment from... Or detached from what was happening right here. I need to get back into it with a new one. Let me leave. Okay. Right, let me see. This was part five. There was one more part, part six. And then we had disappearances. These were the people that presumably escaped in the boat. In the escape boat. Four wayward souls disappeared during the events of this chapter. Their fates are cataloged here. Cool. Location of the corpse. In the midshipman cabin. Ah, is that why there, where he was bleeding out, the guy that crawled there? And then we have on the aft gun deck, gun deck, on the stern deck. Oh, that's upstairs. Got it. And this is... Oh, wait. Does aft and stern mean upside, up and down? I think it maybe does. I don't know. I'm not sure. No, on the aft gun deck. So this is the gun deck. This is the stern deck. Ah, I don't know. I'm terrible with these terms. Anyway, I wanted to explore a corpse located over here. I had another option to do something. I remember that. No, nope, it wasn't here. Where was it? Over here, I think. Wait, am I even on the right? I think it's this one. I seem to have memory of that. Was it in here? Right! This one. Let's see. What's going on here? Jesus. How much bullshit happened on this boat, huh? I just want to see. Is this still here? It is. So this happened before. This is an earlier chapter. Who is that? Some officer. 
He was holding a, what appears to be, Asian lady hostage. Or protecting her, I'm not sure. Probably a hostage. These guys were trying to save her. Who are you? I think you're a top man. I mean, he's, he's already up here, right? So, uh, same as this guy. Is this guy also part of the back crew there? No. Oh, here we go. Adventure and tragedy. Murder. Shit. Chapter 3. I would love to find chapter 1. Outside the first mate's window. Hold on. 1, 2, 3. Are there, are there only three parts to this, I wonder? Murder. The corpse was moved post-mortem. This is the guy that was shot. I think he was a top man. I'm gonna try anyway and put him as an unknown uh, top man. He got shot. By a gun. Uh, with a gun. He was shot with a gun by I don't know who. He was shot with a gun by a, by a mate, by an officer. Which officer, though? Hold on. Oh, shit, that's more. Okay, I'll come back to this. Let me just explore all these threats first. So cool. There, I see him. Got another death over here. Oh, wait a minute. This is the person that was shot in the sketch. People were sitting here shooting. <laughs> Who is this, I wonder? Okay, let's go find him. This is a big one, I feel. He's part of the sketch and he's quite the uh, the focus of that sketch as well. I love watching this thing. Oh man. I'm having such a good time in this game, even though I'm maybe doing terribly, who knows. But I don't care, because I'm having a blast with this. Ah, so much to uncover. Who were you? You have been found guilty by self-confession of the murder of Nunzio Pasquale. Quiet. As captain of this ship, and by the authority of the East India Company, and thus the Crown of England, I sentence you to death by firing line. <laughs> Mr. Wolf, when you are ready. Right, sir. Ready, men. Aim. Fire. Aha! Oh! This is the exact moment of the sketch. Oh, how cool is this? Wow, so a couple of people missed him completely. <laughs> I guess that's why they have multiple people. How can you miss from this distance? Like, look. Man, this looks so badass. Oh, this one is a big one. Hold on. I seem to remember his face. I'm just trying to see if I can remember faces here. Promotion people? 
By the way, I had a quick uh, Google about Formosan. It turns out it's an old word for Taiwanese people or something. Uh, my memory's a little vague. I just quickly Googled it on the train on my phone at some point. Hmm. On the main deck. So a Taiwanese or a Formosan person was shot. And his name was... I can recognize it when I see it. Let's see here. Oh, Hock Seng Lao, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. His name was Hock Seng Lao. And he was shot. By gun. By... He was... Sh well... Oh, wait a second. Do I have to check? Hold on. Do I have to check who didn't miss? Oh my god, that's probably what it's what's going on here. Three of them missed. Here, this one impacted. You! I recognize you! You bastard, you're the guy with the club. I recognize you. Henry Brennan. Is my current theory on who that is. Oh my god, oh my god, I'm so excited, there's so much to do. Um, should I just do the next? I'm gonna do the next, just get it over with. What's happening? Where? Oh. Wait, who's this? Cool. <laughs> so I kind of already forgot what he supposedly had self-confessed to have done. Let's see this guy. Actually, let me leave this guy. F no, I'm going to see him. Let's see. I'm being very indecisive here, but that's okay. Senor Nichols, is that you? What are you doing down here? Oh, hello, yes. All fine here. Just uh, sorting some things. What, what's your step? Here, let me help you. Oh. What is that? Oh! It's a shell! It's a seashell! Valuables! Is that what the people on the main deck were talking about when they wanted to break into the captain's quarters? There's, they said something along the lines of... Uh, about the sh they said something about shells. He was stabbed? Who is this? Hold on. Oh my god. So many questions. Fuck. Murder over valuables. A tale as old as time. On the cargo deck. Who is this? How did they die? Well, he he's the guy with the violin. We had an artist, didn't we? Edward Spratt? Hmm. Do we have, like, a musician? Seaman? No. Cook, butcher, gunner, 
Helmsman. Sir Carpenter's Mate. Okay, I thought, for some reason, I thought I uh, remembered there was a musician among these, but there's not. Okay, I don't know who... So one of them is Senor Nichols. I think the guy that stabbed him was Senor Nichols. Senor. Is that French? Is that a French term? Hello? Who is that? Who is there? Who is that? Is someone hurt? So this is presumably the guy who came downstairs on the cargo deck to, to figure out what was going on. And someone's like, eh? Senor Nichols, is that you? What are you doing down here? Hello, yes, all fine here. Just uh, sorting some things. What's your step? Here, let me help you. Bang! Stabbed him. Or, not sure what actually happened. I can't quite see it clearly. Okay. Okay. Let me go around. I just want to see how he died. Okay, it's hard to see from here. Let me go around this way. Oh man, this art style is just breathtaking, actually. It's so different in a good way. It's, a, it's very refreshing. I mean, it did sound like he just punched him. He beat him to death. Right? I wish I could duck. I can see more clearly. I think he just punched him. So this is Senor Nichols. Officer. Let me put him down as... That makes sense. Second mate. An officer. So I was right, I think, about the fact that he was an officer. Edward Nichols. Second mate. And I think that this guy is French. I mean, he looks French. Look at his hair and his beard and his fancy violin. Let's uh, say, how many French people do we have? France, where is it? There's at least one, right? Denmark, Wales, India. No? Russia, New Guinea? I don't know what New Guinea is. I feel stupid for saying that out loud, but it's the truth. I'm sorry. Sweden, India, Italy. Could it be... Wait, I remember the name Nuncio Pasqua. Was that the guy that was supposedly murdered? Poland, Austria, Ireland. France! Wait a minute. Oh, wait, I already put him down as something, so can't be him. Unless I'm wrong about that, of course, but I don't think I am. That one seemed pretty, pretty good. Hmm. Signor. Who would say that? An Italian, maybe, actually. Signor. Or, is, or a Spanish person, maybe. Let me see. Signor. Uh, it could be... Oh, maybe, ah, uh, you know what? I think it is Nuncio Pasqua. He's, he's, he's from Italy. He says, Signor. But then, I can just see this happening. But, and then the, this Formosan guy was wrongly accused of having done the deed. When in reality, it was actually the second mate. Huh? That's a story I can, uh, I can imagine. Okay, let's... But then again, why would a passenger be down in the cargo hold? Let me put him down as Nuncio Pasqua. Well, he looks like a passenger, right? He has, a, he has an instrument. Why else? And he's dressed like a civilian or a passenger, I guess. He doesn't have an official uniform, it seems. He was... Let's say he was... Um, beaten to death? Is that a thing? Struck? No. Strangled, spiked, speared, shot, poisoned. Jesus. Um, expired, electric, could eaten. Clubbed, clawed, burned, axed, crushed. 
No. Let's say clubbed. He was clubbed with a hand. He was clubbed by Senor Nichols. Okay. That's my current theory on that. Let me actually see if it even looks like him. I can't believe I haven't tried that. Does he have a beard? Uh, actually, it doesn't look like him at all. It doesn't look like him. I'm so stupid. I could just be doing this. It is him. Okay. Man, sometimes I... I really am not very bright, am I? Well, I don't know. Was he... He was beaten? I don't know if he died from it, though. He must have died. Who is this, though? So Nichols killed this guy down here, presumably, to get the hold of... Ooh. That is a Formosan royalty. One of the guards. Hold on. Are these two the Formosan royalty and these are the two accompanying guards? One of the guards got killed. Oh, I already identified this guy. Hook Sing Lao. Wait a minute. Am I remembering a memory completely wrong here? Hold on a second. I think I am. Hold on, hold on. Part two. What? Let me put in... He was shot by... I think it was... Oh... I had a theory that it was... Oh, what was his name? Um, bum, bum, bum. Brennan. Ha! Huh! Hey! I was right about Brennan. That was a big if. Or big, big maybe for me. Peter Milroy was blasted by an explosion. And Brennan was knifed by Captain Robert Witterell. Yes! Oh, that feels so good! Oh! Hells yeah! God, what a great feeling! I feel like you can sort of cheat this game by just guessing a bunch of things until that thing pops and goes, Hey, you got it! Well done. Man, I love that. Okay. So, wait. Uh, nice. Typesetting things. Very good, very good, very good. Let me go back to the murder. Yeah, it's all about the valuables. Look at the, uh, the thing on the left. But it looks like it needs a key. And it looks like the second mate was actually somehow got it open. Maybe he stole the key from the guard, opened this. He was sitting here about to steal it. But then he heard Pasqua come down and he had to take care of him because he spotted the guy here. Yeah. Man, I'm loving this game. This is so much fun. You fucking bastard. You goddamn bastard. How could you do this? Did I guess it, did I get his name right? No. So this I technically I guess could be correct. No, I don't think this is correct because otherwise that the uh, well done screen would have tr would have triggered, right? So he wasn't clubbed. What was he? I don't know what the term is here. He was killed, knifed. Was he knifed? I can't see it. Damn it. Okay. Um, this is one of the guards. Let me see if I can actually put him down. 
Yeah, that guy was... Yeah. But wait a minute. He was already dead at this point. Wait, what? Did they cover up his bruise? Did they cover up his uh, gunshot wound? Hung him up and pretended to kill him there? Would make sense. This is a f this is an officer, right? He could make that happen. But technically, this guy wasn't shot by Henry. I mean, he was technically shot by Henry Brennan, but post mortem. What? This doesn't make too much sense to me. Actually, he was... Cl oh, maybe he was just unconscious, actually. Look, he wasn't shot. He was beaten by a club, it seems. He bled a little bit, but maybe he's not actually dead at this point. That's it. He's not dead here. He's just unconscious. And then... Oh, man. Then he blames... Then he blames this guy for killing Pasqua. Ha ha ha! You sly bastard, you. That is amazing. How did you get the drop on him? It looks like his, his spear is in exactly the position where he would be standing guarding this thing, presumably. He must have been a real ninja. What is this? Big chains. Okay. Right now, I want to just leave. I want to go topside again. I love the music. I want to go up and see the crime scene upstairs. Three people died. Pasqua, Hook Song Lao, and... Wait, who was this again? This guy. Yeah. This is Hook Song Lao. Hook Seng Lao. Hook Seng Lao. Shot with a gun by... This is typeset, so this is like correct. 28 others were present for this. Yeah, everyone was here. Oh shit, oh shit. Okay, okay. Let me go back to this. Hmm. Seng Lao, you have been found guilty by self-confession of the murder of Nunzio Pasqua. Miss Lin. As captain of this ship, and by the authority of the East India Company, and thus the Crown of England, I sentence you to death by firing line. Mr. Wolf, when you are ready. Right, sir. Ready, men. Aim. Fire. Fire. <laughs> Such an Austrian accent. Who was giving that? This guy. This is Wolf. This is the other Austrian person. I got you, motherfucker. Yes. I knew that hat was the gunner hat. Remember I said that? This hat is the mark of a gunman. <laughs> I don't know how I, I... I just imagine him next to a cannon for some reason. I don't know. This guy is Wolf. The Austrian person. Olus Viater. Gunner's mate. No, sorry. Christian Wolf. A gunner from Austria. Now, how did this guy die? Perished in the Doom Part 4. I'm just trying to remember what happened here. The fuse. Oh yeah, his hat fell off. I remember this. His head was blown off. Right? He was... Shot. By a cannon. Oh. Shit, who was... who lit the fuse? 
the fuse. Four others were present. Is is that is it Henry Brennan again doing things? Is this one typeset? It's not. Shouldn't this have been typeset before when I got three correct? Unless this is wrong. Hmm. Hold on. Blasted with a cannon. Okay, let me just go back to this at some other point. For now, I am here. And the guy who was telling... Is that him? No, that's the captain. He was the one saying uh, by order of blah blah, right? Can I quickly see the thing again? Here. Hook Sing Lao, you have been found guilty by self-confession. I wonder if they somehow made him say that. That has to have been the second mate then. Unless the officers were uh, in in uh, cohorts. What do you, how do you say that? They were in... Uh, they were working together on this. They, they stood together. No, he's done nothing wrong. Miss Lin, it is too late. Quiet. As captain of this ship and by the authority of the East India Company and thus the crown of England, I sentence you to death by firing line. Mr. Wolf, when you're ready. Right, sir. Ready, man. Aim. Fire. <laughs> Real German. He's done nothing wrong. So I guess I could go in, find the crew and sort of identify this has to be Miss Lin let's see here Formosa Thomas wait no 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 Bun wait hold on For shouldn't there be four Formosan people did one of them disappear because I, uh, I, I I correctly identified one of them. Hok Seng Lao. Yeah, he's not here. But her name is Bun Lan Lim, not Lin. Maybe he just got her name wrong, you know? Bun Lan Lim. Ik Beng Xia Kyo Tan. Bun Lan Lim? Hok Seng Lao. Bun Lan Lim. And then this guy. I don't have enough clues for that. Okay, fine. All right, all right, all right. This bastard right here has been a real piece of shit, it seems. And when I say that, I just mean he's involved in all kinds of shit. Oh, man. Another officer? You are him. You were the guy clopped by Brennan. <laughs> I mean, let, let's see. How many officers are left? Fourth mate, third mate. It's one of these. Martin. This name I remember. <clears throat> Martin was... Uh, he, I, th I believe it was Abigail calling out that name. At some point. Maybe in the scene where she got clopped by the beast. God, this game is fucking amazing. So much detail. Oh, look. The goat. What is that? A little monkey? No. Yeah. That's a monkey. They had a monkey on board. He gave the order. He's holding his ears. He can't stand to watch it. This is her. Hold on. This is that guy sitting down. Yeah. Is the other guard? 
Okay. I mean, it's a crapshoot between these two. I don't know their names. Maybe there's a hint in the... Hold on. Murder. Also, let me see where the ship was at this time. The Canary Islands. Close to the route, actually. Nuncia Pascua was knifed by Edward Nichols, I think. Or beaten. It's hard to say. Maybe, let me just... Hmm. No, I need like, in sets of three, right? I need to get three correct before it actually tells me whether or not I was wrong. Hmm. So for now, let me just leave it there. I guess I'm just gonna write in my notes. Uh, one is Nuncio Knife uh, by Nichols. And I'm gonna write Knife slash Beaten. Because I cannot tell how he died. Maybe I have to listen to the recording again and hear whether or not it was a ksh or a you know? Those sound effects were stellar, I know. So we have Hok Sing Lao was shot with a gun by Henry Brennan. Which means Henry Brennan has a good aim. Well, not really. From that distance, come on, you've got to be able to hit him. This unknown top man was shot with a gun by an unknown attacker. On your toes, boys. How can you do this? Load her up. We best push off. Let me go. Give her here, will ya? Captain. Slack the lifts and lower the boats. The whole crew will be on us. What is going on here? So I get the feeling that the captain is actually a good guy in this whole story. I mean, the way he was sort of... Uh, I'm guessing the captain was the guy who moved Abigail, because it's his wife, uh, from the deck where she was clubbed by the beast into the captain's quarters. She put her, uh, she put her down and he, he shot her brother, but that was by necessity. Uh, he, they didn't leave him any choice. And then, he actually, and then he actually shot himself in the end because of guilt, it seems. And also because he was stabbed twice, it seems. He was speared, uh, but he didn't die from it. Then he was stabbed in the back. So the ninja guy, the top man, and some of the officers were working together against the captain, as if the captain at some point antagonized the entire crew, or at least those people. But that was the very end of this whole thing. So who knows what the fuck could have happened up until that point. So there's actually just three chap chapters to this. I want to go into the pictures of the ship. And let me try to... Sorry, um, what am I doing? First things first, the journey. They come to here. This is part three, so a couple other parts maybe happen along the route before that. They veered off the route a little bit because of this murder thing. Who knows what happened in between here? There's a bunch of episodes or chapters. So they came back a bit and it all ended here. That one I know. Let me try to bookmark a person that I'm trying to determine uh, who... Or determine the fate of. So let's go to the escape. No, not the escape, sorry. Murder. And let me, this one I think is correct. It's either knifed or beaten. This one is typeset. This guy. This unknown top man was shot with a gun by an unknown attacker. He's only in one memory though. So I, sh okay, I should not actually try this guy. I don't have any clues at all. That's fine. Let me just see this guy. He's only in one memory as well. He perished in murder part one. Yeah. So maybe I cannot do anything else here. The calling. 
Let me see what happened before that. Or in the Orlop deck. I don't know what that circle means. A bitter cold. Loose cargo. I'm trying to determine what could have happened based on these chapter titles. Henry Evans. Hold on. Maybe I can actually find Henry Evans on the ship. Maybe he's the guy with a... Maybe he's carrying a notebook. Right? Or maybe he just started taking notes and writing everything down after all of this happened. Because he wanted to document it. I don't think he actually did it from the very beginning. What's going on here? Who are you? You are Nichols, huh? You are the bastard. Does he, is that a guy whispering to him? Who are you? He's in two memories? Okay, no clue. And who are you? You're easy to recognize. You're old, you have a big full beard, and you're an officer. I mean, you're either Martin or John, I would say. Let me say, yeah, unknown officer. He's in four memories. Why is, why is there only one memory here? This is what I don't understand. If he's supposedly in four memories, shouldn't there be four entries there? That's the captain. This guy. This is an officer. He was the guy who got his head blown off. Fuck, who did he get his head blown off by? I have to go back to the escape and look at that. He was the guy who was sitting at the table, comforting, I think. Um... Uh, the Austrian person who lost his arm. Still don't know how he died. I mean, he died from blood loss, it seems. But I guess maybe the beast took his arm, you know? The escape happened after the attack, so... It would make sense. He doesn't have an officer's hat. Okay, I don't know enough about him. That's fine. Christian Wolf was a gunner. He was blasted with a cannon by... You know what? I think it's time to go back to the escape. Just to see. Okay. Let's do it. Do we have a door? Over here. Oh, look! We got a chicken! Oh, look, we also have small piggies. One of them is sleeping, the other one is doing what piggies do. Whatever that is. We've got two goats and a monkey. I get a feeling... Oh, look at this! Look at this! Oh! Oh! He's the sketch man! He did the sketch! Right, look! He's sketching all of this. Artist? ES! The signature on the sketch. Edward Spratt, artist. It has to be. Fuck yeah. He was sketching this. Amazing. I'm loving all of this. I love this game so much. What does he have in his hand? 
grilling utensil or something to stick the pigs. Wait a minute, is he butcher? Is this guy a butcher? One of them was a butcher. Does look like he has an apron on, look. Yeah, apron guy. Who's this? Maybe he was a person who just took care of the animals. Maybe he was an animal handler. I'm gonna put this guy down as the butcher. Try anyway. Surgeon... E Emil O'Farrell from Ireland. I mean, he kind of looks Irish. I don't know how I know that. I just It just looks Irish. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. He, he, gets, he gives me Irish vibes. Who are you? Man, look. They're even stay staying or standing in the same place as the sketch. Isn't that cool? Are any of these my ninja? Look just like the sketch. Yeah. How cool is that? So let me see here. These all have the same rank, I presume here. This guy is Henry Brennan. He's a seaman. Which means these has to be seaman as well. Let me put him down as an unknown seaman. Just so that's clear. I have to remember to click Y to close the book, not B. Damn it. You are an unknown seaman. Very low rank. Which means one of these is the Dane. Ho oh. ho. Okay. Are there any more seamen? Just trying to notice their clothing now. What do seamen look like? Simple clothing. How many seamen do we have? Hold on. The crew. Passenger. Oh, we've got a... Okay, there's a bunch of seamen. Never mind. Fuck me. We have four Indian-looking seamen, then, it seems. One last <laughs> line. That is just amazing. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny to me. Hold on. This is this guy is like saying, "Stop! Hold on! Don't talk! Leave him!" Or let me see the. Oh, how do I see the thing for this? I mean, the UI is not that intuitive in this game. It, it really isn't. I'm having trouble with it. Uh, murder. I don't want to go to... Here. 28 others were present. Another thing that may be worth noticing here is that... He didn't draw these, or he, he chose to draw only certain people. No, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Did he draw more people on the sketch than were actually really there? Why, why won't these show up? You know what I mean? Oh, wait, unless they're actually highlighted up here. Another thing I was thinking about 
Is that... There's like... So the way they these two stand together... It's gonna mean something. Just like these two stand together... I know there's like a rank system. Where you have like slaves. But uh, no, not slaves. But like you have... People serving you, right? So maybe... Is this... Is this his... Hold on. Who's this? An officer? Do I know who this is? Unknown. Okay. Who is this over here? Not sure. Like, look the way this guy is standing behind this guy as if they're together. You know what I mean? Just like over here. And he was second mate Edward Nichols. Does he have a servant? Does the second mate have a servant? Hold on. The crew. Yeah, look, Stuart. Uh, I don't know what a Stuart. I have to look at the glossary again. Second mate Stuart, Ireland. I think Samuel Galligan. Is this Samuel Galligan then? I'm gonna bet it is. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? It's, um, it's not gonna be correct. I can always change it, right? This guy is standing with him. But maybe they're just banded together because they're all officers over here. Yeah, look, all the officers are together. Who was this? Just an officer? Don't know his name. Do we have any more like this? Who are you? And you're standing in with the pigs. You look very simple dressed. Love the music. Absolutely love it. Is there like an animal handler? Is that like a thing? Surgeon's mate. Right. Henry Evans was on this ship. A surgeon. Man, can I identify him? A surgeon would have a scalpel, right? But I don't know if he's going to walk around holding a scalpel. That doesn't make too much sense. He's holding his ears. I'm, this seems important. As if maybe he were friends with this guy and he didn't want to watch or look or listen. Striped shirt guy. Hold on. Is that the guy that ended up being shot? By one of the ladies in the boat? If this is a butcher... Could this be a cook? Is this like a cooking utensil, you know? The butcher and the cook would make sense to be together, no? Unless this is the cook. And this is the butcher. Because that looks like a butchering thing. Hmm. You know what? I changed my mind on this guy. Let me say he is... The cook. Thomas Sefton, England. I think you may be the butcher. Ireland. The reason I say that is... In the sketch... I don't know if it means anything, but this guy's standing, this guy's sitting as if he's a higher rank. I get the feeling that the butcher serves the cook and not the other way. If that even makes it, Maybe it's not his servant or anything, but I'm just talking about a rank here. This guy's just chilling. This is the other guy with that... Oh, he has like Bakkenbader, we say in Danish. I don't know what the English name is. You know, the beard on the side, just like an Amish person. Oh, wait a minute. That's the bosun. That's the guy I don't know uh, how his arm fell off. 
He was the Austrian person. I don't... Well, I, I guess I don't know how he died. Shit. Yeah. My, met an unknown fate. I have no clue. Yet. Okay. Man. Okay, shit. Wait a minute. Oh, I thought for a second he was missing his head, but he, he's not. Okay, uh, thank you for watching. In the next episode, I'll, I'll be exploring the escape once again. And maybe try to find more corpses. Until then, see ya. Have a good one. Goodbye.